Hey future doctors, I am Dr. Sharon and welcome to NEET 2025 Test Your Cell series where I am providing you with chapter wise MCQs for your practice before the upcoming NEET exam. We have already finished all the chapters of class 11th in CRT Biology and today we are starting with class 12th in CRT Biology chapters. The first chapter is Sexual Reproduction in Flowering Plants. Without wasting much time, let's get started. Question number one. Role of double fertilization in angiosperms is to produce. Option A. Endosperm. Option B, cotyledons. Option C, endocarp or option D, hormones. Role of double fertilization in angiosperms is to produce. The correct answer is option A, it produces endosperm. Question 2, male gametes in angiosperms are formed by division of. Option A, microspore. Option B, microspore mother cell. Option C, generative cell or option D, vegetative cell. Male gametes in angiosperms are formed by division of. The correct answer is option C, generative cell. Question 3. Layer of microsporangium involved in providing nourishment to the developing pollen grains is. Option A, endothesium. Option B, middle layer. Option C, tapetum or option D, MMC. Layer of microsporangium which provides nourishment to the developing pollen grain is. The correct answer is option C, that is, tapetum provides nourishment to the developing pollen grain. Question 4. Functional megaspore develops after three successive division into. Functional megaspore after three successive divisions develops into embryo, ovule, zygote, or embryo sac. The correct answer is option D, that is, embryo sac. A typical angiosperm embryo sac at maturity is 8 nucleated and option A, single celled, option B, 4 celled, option C, 7 celled or option D, 8 celled. A typical angiosperm embryo sac at maturity is 8 nucleated and how many celled? The correct answer is option C, that is, it is 7 celled, 8 nucleated, 7 celled. How is it 8 uh, nucleus and 7 cells? It's because the central large cell has two polar nuclei. So that makes it eight nuclei and seven cells. Question six. Germ pore is present in which of the following? Entine, exine, ovule or option D, both entine and exine. Germ pore is present in which of the following? The correct answer is option B. It is present in exine. And what is germ pore? It is the place in the exine where the sporopollenin is absent. So from there, the pollen tube can come out. So germ pore are the pores that are present on exine and they lack sporopollenin. Question 7. A plant has 24 chromosomes in megaspore mother cell. The number of chromosomes in its endosperm will be option A, 12, option B, 24, option C, 36, or option D, 48. A plant has 24 chromosomes in megaspore mother cell. How many chromosomes will be there in its endosperm? The correct answer is option C, 36. The 24 chromosomes in megaspore mother cell represents the two end state. Now, when the meiosis takes place, each nuclei as a result of meiosis would be having N, right? That is 12 chromosome. Now, endosperm as a result after the fertilization, it has 3n chromosome, right? So the 3n would be 3 into 12, that would make into 36. So the correct answer is option C, 36 chromosomes would be there. Question 8. Endosperm is formed during double fertilization by fusion of ovum and male gamete, two polar nuclei and one male gamete, one polar nuclei and one male gamete, or two polar nuclei and two male gametes. Endosperm is formed during double fertilization by the correct answer is option B, that is two polar nuclei and one male gamete. And this even answers the previous question. Since there are two polar nuclei, that is 2N and one male gamete, that is N. So the fusion results in 3N. Question 9. If there are four cells in anther, what will be the number of pollen grains? If there are four cells in anther, what will be the number of pollen grains? Option A, 4. Option B, 8. Option C, 12 or option D, 16. The correct answer is option D, 16. Remember, 
each cell can give rise to a tetrad of pollens. So four cells will give four into four, that is 16 pollen grains. Question 10. Sequence of development of embryo sac is option A. Archisporium that gives rise to megaspore that gives rise to megasporangium which finally forms embryo sac or option B. Archisporium that gives rise to megasporangium which forms the megaspore and then finally embryo sac or option C. Megasporangium gives rise to megaspore which forms the archisporium and finally embryo sac or option D. Archisporium forms megaspore mother cell which gives rise to megaspore which leads to embryo sac. The correct answer is option D. The option D sequence is the correct development for the embryo sac. Question number 11. Vegetative propagation in Pistia occurs by offsets, runners, suckers or stolen. Vegetative propagation in Pistia occurs by. The correct answer is option A, offset. Question number 12. Which one of the following is monoecious, cycus, pinus, Date palm, merchantia. Which one of the following is monoecious? Correct answer is option B, that is pinus. Question number 13. The scutellum observed in a grain of wheat or maize is comparable to which part of the seed in other monocotyledons? Cotyledon, endosperm, alluron layer, or plumule. Scutellum observed in grain of wheat or maize is comparable to which part of the seed of other monocots? Correct answer is option A, cotyledon. Question number 14. Transmission tissue is characteristic feature of solid stylus, dry stigma, wet stigma, hollow style. Transmission tissue is characteristic feature of. The correct answer is option A, solid style. Question number 15. Endosperm is consumed by developing embryo in the seed of maize, coconut, Castor P. Endosperm is consumed by the developing embryo in the seed of. The correct answer is option D. P. Shoot apical meristem excised from a plant and grown in a tissue culture produces all the plant tissue, new shoot and root apical meristems, stem only, stem and leaves only. The correct answer is option D. That is, it produces stem and leaves only. Asexual production of seeds is called adventition, fragmentation, cell fertilization, epomixis. Asexual production of seed is called as. Correct answer is option D, epomixis. How many copies of each chromosome are there in an endosperm? 1, 2, 3 or 8. Number of copies of chromosome in an endosperm? Correct answer is option C, that is there are 3 copies. The part of embryo between the cotyledons and the embryonic root is hypocotyle, epicotyle, suspensor or root apex. Part of embryo between the cotyledon and the embryonic root is called the correct answer is option A that is hypocotyle. The part of embryo above the cotyledon is called as hypocotyle, epicotyle, suspensor or root apex. Part of embryo above the cotyledon is called as Correct answer is option B that is epicotyle. So part of the embryo below the cotyledon is hypocotyle and above the cotyledon is epicotyle. The options are given in degree Celsius. Minus 196, minus 194, minus 192, minus 198. What is the temperature of cryopreservation used in preservation of seed? Correct answer is option A minus 196 degree Celsius. A seed code ruptures because of massive glycolysis in endosperm and cotyledon, massive entry of water by imbibition into seed, differentiation of the cotyledon, sudden increase in meristem cell division. A seed code ruptures because of. Correct answer is option B. Massive entry of water by imbibition into the seed. Pollination occurs when a pollen grain matures and has three nuclei, lands on a stigma, releases its sperm nuclei, releases its sperm nuclei and they fertilize the egg and polar nuclei. Pollination occurs when a pollen grain. Correct answer is option B, when a pollen grain lands on a stigma. So the process of pollination is defined as transfer from the anther till it's landing on the stigma. The formation of embryo without fusion of gametes is termed as epospory, isogamy, 
apogamy or syngamy. Process of formation of embryo without fusion of gametes is called as. Correct answer is option C that is apogamy. PEG or polyethylene glycol is used in protoplast fusion, embryo culture, fermentation, protoplast isolation. Correct answer is PEG is used in protoplast fusion. Option A. Fragrant flowers with well-developed nectar trees are adapted for anemophily, hydrophily, entomophily or zoophily. Fragrant flowers with well-developed nectar trees are adapted for which type of pollination? Correct answer is option C, entomophily, that is pollination via insects. Before dehiscence of anther, middle layer enlarges, endothesium develops fibrous thickening, tapetum develops fibrous thickening, epidermis degenerates. What happens before the dehiscence of anther? Correct answer is option B, endothesium develops fibrous thickening. In angiosperms, the oospores on development produce seed, Embryo, protonema or endosperm. Oospores on development produces. Correct answer is option B. Embryo. Tegument develops from outer integument, inner integument, chalaza or funicle. Tegument develops from. Correct answer is option B. Inner integument. Bisexual clestogamous flowers never open in life. Opens only in daytime. Open only during the night. Always remain open. Bisexual clestogamous flowers. Correct answer is option A. It never opens in life. So those are the MCQs for today. I really hope you're finding the entire series helpful. If you are, don't forget to share it with your friends and other neat aspirants. I'll see you guys in the next video again of this series, Neat 2025 Test Yourself with another set of MCQs from the next chapter of Class 12th NCRT Biology, that is Human Physiology. So read up that chapter before attempting the next MCQ session. I'll see you guys then. Till then. All the best and keep working hard. Do like and share this video. And if you are new out there, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.